The U.S. Department of Defense expects that advanced missile and next-generation fighter jets will enhance end-to-end -end strike force systems, increasing the potential for deterring future threats. Thanks to the newest updates, we revealed some clues about who's likely building the Air Force's secret new fighter jet. Lockheed Martin's chief financial officer has dropped hints that the aerospace giant is working on a new aircraft program. And clues suggest it just might be the Air Force's secret new fighter jet. Lockheed, the world's largest defense contractor, reported expenses and revenues that indicate it's working on a mysterious product. Lockheed CFO Ken Possenreed made the comments that Lockheed's Skunk Works program saw strong double-digit growth and the company continues to execute on recent awards. Skunk Works is the official nickname of Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs. Created by Ben Rich and Clarence Kelly Johnson, Skunk Works takes its name from the Lil Abner comic book and uses the cartoon image of a skunk as its official logo. Skunk Works is revered in aviation circles for having developed some of the most famous aircraft in American history, including the SR-71 Blackbird, the U-2 Dragon Lady strategic reconnaissance planes, the F-22, F-35, and the F-117A Nighthawk stealth fighter. It's also revealed that Lockheed plans to build a large new building in Palmdale, California to accommodate a classified new project. The secret new fighter jet is part of the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, an Air Force project designed to supplement and eventually replace the F-22 Raptor. As we know, the F-22 Raptor is the most advanced military jet on the planet. Two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines with afterburners and two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles give the F-22 a top speed of Mach 2.25 or 1500 miles per hour. The airplane can fly at a trimmed alpha of over 60 degrees, and it's highly challenging to detect the F-22 and track by radar due to decreased radio emissions, infrared, and acoustic signature. The F-22 Raptor has four hardpoints on the wings, each rated to carry 5,000 pounds, and three internal weapons bays. The main weapons bay can carry six AMROM AIM-120C missiles, or two AMROM and two 1,000-pound GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Munition. In 2009, the program was cut to 187 operational production aircraft due to high costs. US-339 million. A lack of clear air-to-air -air missions, a ban on exports, and the development of more versatile F-35. The last F-22 was delivered in 2012. This new secret fighter jet will also replace the United States' most recent and technologically advanced jet, the F-35C, which combines air-to-air -air and air-to-ground attack capabilities. The most expensive of the F-35 family, the F-35C, has larger wings and more robust landing gear. One Pratt & Whitney F-135 PW100 turbofan engine powers the F-35C, giving it a max speed of roughly Mach 1.6 or 1200 miles per hour with supersonic dash and afterburner. The aircraft costs around 34 billion dollars. The F-35C also has the greatest internal fuel capacity of the three F-35 variants. The F-35C carries nearly 20,000 pounds of internal fuel for longer range and better persistence than any other fighter in a combat configuration. However, the new fighter is likely an air-to-air -air fighter which means it uses off-the-shelf avionics, engines, and weapons borrowed from other aircraft, such as the F-35 and the F-A-18EF. The Air Force has published a series of images that may openly hint at a stealthy-looking, arrowhead-shaped new plane. The aircraft, like the B-2A Spirit Bomber, lacks vertical stabilizers, giving it a flat appearance. The timing is really interesting, as this graphic comes just a few days after the Assistant Secretary's announcement that the Air Force has secretly designed, built, and flown one full-scale prototype of a new generation fighter aircraft. The general consensus is one of the big three aerospace companies, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, built the new fighter jet. But the plane is almost certainly a stealthy design, and there's only one company right now building stealth fighters, Lockheed, which fashioned the F-35. The company is indeed the prime contractor on next-generation air dominance. The next-generation aircraft has a cockpit, a sign of the aircraft being manned or optionally manned. 
Two engines are positioned beside the dorsal spine, with exhaust nozzles similar to those found on the YF-23, with the lower surface longer than the upper one to mask the engine's infrared signature from below. We can't see any kind of tailplanes, hence the aircraft is based on the flying wing concept. The absence of vertical tailplanes could be dictated by a further reduction of the radar cross-section, especially from the sides. An air-to-air -air refueling receptacle is also present on the dorsal spine. Above all, the shape vaguely reminds one of the mysterious aircraft spotted in the U.S. in 2014 when the two aircraft appeared over Texas and Kansas. Moreover, we have already seen some graphics showcasing futuristic aircraft in posters celebrating the Air Force's 70th birthday in 2017, which featured the proposed successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. The unmanned hypersonic SR-72 would travel at twice the speed of the SR-71, penetrating defended airspace and striking a target before being detected. We could also notice another hint published by the US Air Force on Instagram. Look closer at the shape hidden in the 73rd birthday graphic. This shape now appears to be strikingly similar to the 6th generation concept Northrop Grumman released in 2016 and the recent concept. The next generation air dominance program is meant to ensure the Air Force's air superiority in future conflicts versus the fighters of potential adversaries, like China and Russia, considering fierce technology competition between the following fighter jets. Suhoi Su-57 The fifth generation Russian combat aircraft that is in direct contest with the US fifth generation combat jets, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, with a combat weight of 22,046 pounds, the aircraft can carry short-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, short- and medium-range guided and unguided weapons, and aerial bombs in 250 kilograms, 500 kilograms, and 1500 kilogram classes. The Su-57 can reach its maximum speed of Mach 2, 1,320 miles per hour, and costs US $42 million. The advanced flight control system and thrust vectoring nozzles make the aircraft departure resistant and highly maneuverable. The aircraft is used as a testbed for integration with UAVs and various subsystems, including weapon, control, and navigation systems. Being developed for Russia's future 6th generation combat system, both in manned and unmanned versions. In January 2019, it was reported the third flyable Su-57 prototype is being used for interaction with the Sukhoi S-70 Ohotnik UCAV and testing of its avionics systems. Chengdu J-20 is the new twin-engine multi-role stealth fighter from China. It entered service for the People's Liberation Army Air Force in 2017 and was designed to compete against fifth-generation fighters. Twin afterburning turbofan engines and supersonic inlet DSI enables an aircraft to reach Mach 2.0 with a simpler intake than traditionally required and improves stealth performance by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. The cost per unit production is about US $100 million. The J-20 can carry up to six air-to-air -air missiles and longer-range missiles, including the LS-6 Precision Guided Bomb. The aircraft owns an advanced fly-by-wire system, and its fire control radar is an active electronically scanned array. Dassault Rafale Entering service in 2004 and known as the 4.5 generation aircraft, Dassault Rafale is France's most updated multi-role fighter jet, costing around $120 million. With three main variants, the Rafale is capable of air superiority, aircraft carrier operations, strategic target destruction, and nuclear deterrence missions. Two SNECMA M88-2s afterburning turbofan engines give the Rafale a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. It has a combat radius of 1,000 nautical miles, but can extend to twice that with three fuel drop tanks mounted on its hardpoints. TIE TFX is a Turkish experimental fighter setting to combine the best of a stealth air superiority fighter. At the Paris Air Show, the aircraft was featured with two 12-ton engines able to operate at a maximum height of 16.76 kilometers. The TFX is planned to have a maximum speed of twice the speed of sound and an operational range of nearly 1,111 kilometers until it runs out of fuel, exceeding the US F-35 stealth fighter in terms of speed, maximum operational height, and matching it in terms of operational range. 
The fighter jet will reportedly use an advanced glass cockpit with voice command interface and data links so that it controls up to two friendly drones, which may be developed to fire air-to-ground or air-to-air -air missiles. A flying prototype is expected by 2023, with costs around US $100 million per unit, with the first plane envisioned to be ready by 2025 and the full fleet of 250 to be operational by 2032. We hope you enjoyed revealing some insights about the mysterious fighter jet. Let's keep in mind that all of this could be just speculation, at least until the first photos of the NGAD demonstrator will be available to the public. Please give this video a like if you learned something new, and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another exciting video from Front Coast. See you next time!